We've looked at two different methods for solving exponential equations. Now we want to move on to some techniques for solving logarithmic equations. But as we do that, we want to think back to what the graph of a logarithmic function look like, looks like. So this is the graph of f of x is equal to the log base b of x. And the important thing to remember here is that this graph has a vertical asymptote at x equals zero, meaning our function will never hit x equals zero and will never cross past it. It's not defined for any values less than zero. So what that means is, as we're solving log functions, we need to keep in mind that the domain is x greater than zero. Any expression we're taking the log of, that expression inside the log must be greater than zero. In example six, our first step will be dividing both sides by two to isolate that log statement by itself, which will give us the log base two of x is equal to two. Now what we can do is rewrite this using the exponential form by taking that base raised to the power on the opposite side, giving us two squared is equal to x or x is equal to 4. That's our proposed solution, but what we need to do in order to check that is make sure that when we take the log base 2 of x, x has to be greater than 0. In this case, it's fairly straightforward. If our solution for x is 4, that result is greater than 0. That checks out so our solution is in the domain of this function and we can keep that solution. In example seven, again, we wanna first isolate that log expression by itself. We'll do that by adding four to both sides to get nine times the log base two of negative three x minus two is equal to nine. Then we'll divide both sides by nine to get the log base two of negative three x minus two is equal to one. Rewriting this in exponential form will give us two to the first power is equal to negative three x minus two. To solve, we'll add two to both sides, which will give us four is equal to negative three x and then we'll divide both sides by negative three to get x is equal to negative four thirds. Even though that result is negative, that doesn't mean it's not a valid solution because what we need is that expression inside the original logarithm, negative three x minus two, to be greater than zero. Which means we need negative three times negative four thirds minus two to be greater than zero. Negative three times negative four thirds will end up being positive four minus two or two, which is greater than zero. So this solution checks out. When we plug x equals negative four thirds back into the original expression, we don't get anything outside the domain for that log function. So we have another valid solution in this case.